Hey guys, today we talk about seven new sneakers that Jordan Brand will be unveiling between October and the end of the year. Tune in! Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the seven sneakers that Jordan Brand will be unveiling for this holiday season 2017. Man oh man, I've taken a look at what was presented on nikenews.com and to me, half of those sneakers are awesome. When it comes to these sneakers, I'm really interested in seeing how they turn out. But anyways, let's get into the review of the seven sneakers. So sneaker number one, the Jordan 12 Bordeaux. What do I have to say about this sneaker? Don't like it, don't like it at all. If you guys like it, cool. But for me, I just don't like the combination of the Bordeaux with the sail bottoms. Like for me, that's like a slap in my face for not getting the PSNY Bordeaux. That is the Bordeaux that I want. That is the Bordeaux 12 that I want. Now, I wasn't a really big fan of this unveiling of this particular sneaker, but to each his own. But anyways, let's get into the second sneaker. So the second colorway that Jordan Brand unveiled was the Air Jordan 12 Dark Gray. Guys, you know that I'm partial when it comes to dark gray. It is my favorite color. And with this, Jordan Brand kind of mimicked, or they did mimic, the Taxi 12s, but slapped on some gray on there. I think it's a dope color overall because I'm biased and love that color, but I'm not really the greatest fan of it because, again, they put on that white bottom. If they had just graded out completely, I would have really appreciated the sneaker a little bit more. I think that would have made the shoe really dope, but I'll probably be passing on these sneakers. So sneaker number three, man oh man, the fly knit ones in the royal colorway. Dude, I love the fly knit ones, and as a matter of fact, I copped the band fly knit ones, and I wore those things for you know at least 10 hours because I was running around California doing a whole bunch of errands for my upcoming wedding and you know how it is when you're you know doing preparations for those of you that are married at least preparations for a wedding you you know follow your lady all over the place you're walking all over the place doing everything so anyways I had these sneakers on for at least 10 hours and they were comfortable is that how you say it? Comfortable. They're super comfortable. I don't know. Nike put in that zoom air in the sneaker and it was super comfortable to me. So I expect the same when it comes to these Royal Fly Knit ones. I love the leather. I love the waxed laces. And I love the Fly Knit on it where it's thinner in some areas and it's thicker in other areas. It's perfect. And I actually need to do a review on the Fly Knit ones that I cop saw. So Stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll bring that up really soon. But anyways, these are dope shoes. I'll definitely be copying them and I hope people sleep on these sneakers as well as the way they slept on, slept, slept on the band Jordan 1 Flyknits. So sneaker number four, the Black Altitude 13s. Man oh man, these sneakers are dope sauce. Reason being, the leather on these are apparently going to be equivalent to the OG leather of the Altitude 13s, which were released in 2005, and I'm excited to get those pairs, given that they're all blacked out, and they have a nice little tinge of, you know, the green glow-in-the-dark-like features, although they don't glow in the dark, but it seems like it, given that lime green kind of color that is put in certain areas of the sneaker. So I think this is a dope sneaker overall, and I'm excited to see what it will look like in hand. So sneakers number five, six, and seven are all covered in elemental gold or golden harvest. And I love these sneakers. Anything that has that weak colorway combined with a little bit of gum in it is all for me. It screams my name. Zo! 
But anyways, one of the sneakers is the Air Jordan 1 covered in these colors I just mentioned and those, that's my number one go-to sneaker that I want to get. It has the gum bottoms and it has quality suede from at least the pictures on the top of the sneaker. And I really appreciate that sneaker. It's a perfect fall slash winter looking sneakers. And in addition to that, it's an Air Jordan 1. I love Air Jordan 1s. So that's gonna be a dope colorway and that's my number one sneaker that I'm going to be trying to cop. So the Air Jordan 6 is another colorway covered in that elemental gold, that wheat slash flax like colorway. And I think this sneaker is dope as well. It has the bottoms that have a little bit of a creamy like sail color going with it and the midsole, which is covered in that sail creamy like color as well. I think that's a dope sneaker. I again love that wheat slash winter-like colorway that is associated with the sneaker and I'll definitely be trying to get my hands on this. I'm definitely gonna need to budget given that these sneakers are really dope and that's gonna be a lot of sneaker spending. And last but certainly not least, the seventh sneaker is the Jordan 13 in the wheat colorway. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. This sneaker is fire, it is dope sauce, guys. It has the wheat on the top, Little parts of it look like it has leather that is in the wheat colorway as well. The bottoms are amazing and I'm definitely gonna be copying these sneakers. Can't wait until they come out. That is a very different statement for a 13. In my opinion, 13s are usually bland overall. I usually go for certain 13s, such as the bread 13s, the playoff 13s, etc., etc. Those are the go-to 13s in my personal opinion. Ignore the flints and the other ones, but those are my main ones. But this one is good, might be actually my new favorite 13 if the pictures are looking as well as they do in hand. I can't wait to see what those sneakers will look like in hand. I'll definitely be copying, guys. So Jordan Brand stated that these sneakers were going to be unveiled come holiday season 2017. But I know for a fact that two of these sneakers, from what I've read, are coming out in October, being the Bordeaux 12s and the Flyknit 1s. So I'm definitely going to be going after those Flyknit 1s, as I said earlier. I don't know when the other sneakers are going to be coming out, but I'm definitely going to be keeping up to date so I could grab them when they are available. So Casa question of the day, guys. What do you think about this unveiling from Jordan Brand? Are you guys gonna cop any of the sneakers? Do you think any of them are dope? Let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it, people. My sneaker talk is up for today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the information that was provided today. I appreciate all of you guys for watching my videos and I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.